Which AI video model is the best right now? I tested four of them. Google Veo 3.1, Kling 2.6, Grok, and Midjourney. Same starting image, same prompt, same rules. 11 different challenges. Some easy, some basically impossible. I told the AIs, just turn this into a video. Let's see how they handle physics, motion, audio, and realism. Number one, crash test. A car driving at high speed straight into a concrete barrier. Same start frame image and prompt for all models. Let's be honest, this is a hard challenge, and I'm definitely not expecting real-world physics. First up, we have Veo. Unfortunately, Veo starts deforming the car before it even hits the wall. That said, the actual impact still looks pretty solid. Kling apparently felt things were a bit too calm, so it casually throws in an extra explosion. To be fair, though, the car deformation itself actually looks quite good. Grok looks pretty convincing overall. The only odd thing, the engine seems to be made of glass. At least something comes flying out that definitely looks like glass shards. And then there's Midjourney. Midjourney decides to deform the entire concrete wall, flips the car onto its side. And if you look closely, for a brief moment, there are two drivers in the car. Multiverse confirmed. Conclusion, none of the models delivered completely realistic physics, but honestly, I didn't expect that. This was an impossible warm-up challenge, and that's totally fine. Number two, beer challenge. All right, let's try something that should be physically simpler, at least on paper. Pouring a bottle of beer. Every model starts from the same image with the same prompt. Veo does a pretty good job here. The foam formation looks nice, but the bubbles inside the glass are a bit too chaotic. Also, Veo seems to have discovered a magic beer bottle that never runs empty. I would like to order one of those. Kling also looks very good. It takes its time pouring, but it is realistic. But once again, the bottle never empties. With Grok, the bubbles look a bit artificial, but at least the bottle actually empties. That alone earns points. Midjourney, well, Midjourney apparently doesn't drink beer. The pouring just doesn't look very realistic. Conclusion, no clear winner here. Turns out pouring beer is harder than it looks, especially for AI. Number three, skydiving with lip sync. Next challenge, skydiving. But to keep things interesting, we add audio and make her say something. Starting with Veo. I'm so glad this isn't real. <laughs> Honestly, Veo did a really good job here. The motion feels natural. The audio fits. Once again. I'm so glad this isn't real. <laughs> solid. Next up, Kling. I'm so glad this isn't real. Kling gets the spoken text right, and then the woman just teleports away. But jokes aside, the lip sync itself is good. I'm so glad this isn't real. Now Grok. I'm so glad this isn't real. Also very well done. The text is correct, lip sync works, but the rope looks a bit strange. I'm so glad this isn't real. Good result. Unfortunately, Midjourney can't speak yet, so it has to sit this one out. Conclusion. Personally, Vale felt the most realistic here, especially because of the wind noise. But all three models passed this test. Number four, drum sync. Another audio test, a drum session. The challenge this time is syncing stick movement drum hits, and sound, starting with Veo. Not bad at all. The movements look good, the sound mostly matches, 
Sure, not every hit lines up perfectly, but that's expected. Now cling. Very similar result. Smooth movement, believable sound, even if audio and visuals aren't perfectly aligned. And grok. This one feels a bit more static. Technically correct, but lacking some energy compared to Veo and Kling. Midjourney also gets a turn, but without audio, it kind of misses the point. Conclusion. My favorites here were Veo and Kling. Grok felt a bit flat, and it's really time for Midjourney to get audio support. Number 5. Extended reality. This should be simple. A modern building at dusk, reflections in the water, camera slowly moving forward. But I extended each video multiple times, up to 30 seconds, to see how well they hold up. Starting with Veo. What's impressive is how long Veo maintains color and image quality, although it does drop slightly toward the end. With Kling, the building still looks okay but the trees slowly turn into something straight out of a low-budget game. Grok starts drifting into a heavy red color cast after about 10 seconds, and by the end, it's very far from the original start frame. Midjourney handles this surprisingly well. The reflections still look great, even at the end. Conclusion. All models handled water reflections realistically, but image quality eventually degrades with every single one. Number 6. Snowboard Fun After the calm visuals, let's bring back some action. A snowboarder carving down the slope. Veo looks good. The snow is realistic. Movement is smooth. Although Veo seems unaware that carving usually involves turning. Kling also looks very strong here. Clean technique definitely an advanced rider. With Grok, it looks like the rider might trip at any moment, possibly the last run after an opera ski party. Midjourney feels like it's trying to surf ocean waves instead of snow. Still, not terrible. Conclusion, snowboarding is harder than it looks. Veo and Kling are my favorites here. Number 7. Push-Up Challenge this one is really challenging, and not just for the athletes, but for the AI models. The idea, the woman keeps doing push-ups while the man gives up. Veo handles this quite well. The smug look from the woman at the end wasn't in the prompt, but okay. Kling chooses slow motion. It looks like Kling gently lowers him onto the mat. I expected a bit more drama. Grok technically succeeds, but it almost feels like he's letting her win and Midjourney completely ignores the prompt and does whatever it wants. Conclusion, Veo was the best. Kling and Grok were good. Midjourney failed this round. Number 8. Water Slide POV. A first-person water slide ride. Sounds easy until you realize how extreme the perspective is. Veo randomly extends the slide mid-ride. Even after extending the video, Veo still doesn't reach the bottom. Fun police activated. Kling looks pretty good overall, though not everyone will enjoy the joke at the end with the closed gate. Grok turns the water into something resembling a foam carpet, but at least the rider makes it down. And Midjourney, well, Midjourney is being Midjourney. Conclusion, harder than expected. I'm not fully satisfied with any of them here. Number nine road bike race now something calmer a woman riding a road bike at sunset i extended the video again to test stability zeo does a very good job smooth motion good continuity kling is also excellent 
except it apparently exists in a universe with two suns. Grok starts strong, but slowly becomes artificial. Mid-journey looks fine, but the camera movement is odd, and things start to stutter near the end. Conclusion Veil vale is my favorite. Kling would have been just as good, minus the second sun. Number 10. Drone Trouble A drone flying over a calm lake at sunset. Nothing difficult. In theory. VO suddenly goes full speed. The rotors look great, but the landscape turns into motion blur. Kling takes it slow. Nice water animation and reflections, but static-looking rotors. Grok delivers a solid result. Rotors spin properly. Reflections look good. With mid-journey, there's a moment where you think the drone might crash, but it recovers just in time. Conclusion. This round goes to Grok. Number 11. Lip sync. Is this real? Last test for today. A couple sitting in a cafe, questioning their own existence. VO first. I think my coffee isn't real. <laughs> Good thing we're still real. <laughs> Very good. Nothing to criticize. Once again. I think my coffee isn't real. <laughs> good thing we're still real. <laughs> Kling, next. I think my coffee isn't real. Good thing we're still real. Also flawless. Let's watch it again. I think my coffee isn't real. Good thing we're still real. Now grok. I think my coffee isn't real. Good thing we're still real. <laughs> the dialogue works, but Grok seems to think, if the coffee isn't real, why bother with a spoon or a handle? Look at the cups. I think my coffee isn't real. Good thing we're still real. <laughs> Conclusion. Final round winners, Vio and Kling. From a pure quality perspective, Vio is one of the strongest models overall. It handled most challenges very well, but it's also by far the most expensive. Kling has excellent prompt adherence, but sometimes makes questionable creative decisions. Image quality drops in longer videos. Grok delivered some very strong results, but also had noticeable inconsistencies over time. Mid-Journey often ignores the prompt entirely and does its own thing. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it's complete nonsense. But you've seen everything for yourselves. Now it's your turn to decide which model you liked the most. Thanks for watching. Now go out there and create something awesome. And maybe subscribe if you want more AI breakdowns like this.